The world is at an inflection point. We are going to be inviting in those who argue that democracy doesn't work, that restrictions on the press are necessary, and that intolerance and tribalism and organizing ourselves along ethnic lines are the answer to today's challenges and extreme nationalism and xenophobia and the politics of us versus them. Isolationism or nationalism, where they can suggest rolling back the rights of others. Openness to immigrants and refugees, that's fundamental to who we are. I am convinced that the future does not belong to strong men. Blah, 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 blah. That was, of course, former President Obama. You heard him talk for years. He was in Canada today in Montreal, where he delivered a dark speech obliquely attacking the president who replaced him and warning about the rise of something called the politics of fear, whatever that is. Mark Stein is a columnist, best-selling author, and a Canadian. Best of all, he joins us now. So, Mark, here you have a president who invited Al Sharpton to the White House as a domestic policy right. advisor more than 80 times, lecturing us about ethnic politics and, politics and tribalism. Like, self-awareness yeah. somehow doesn't exist for this guy? No, he always does this uh, bloodless Mr. Spock routine that uh, everyone else is motivated by emotions and opinions, and he is the only one who uses reason and logic. Uh, and he does this whole kind of dispassionate thing. Apparently, there's a big market for it in Montreal. Uh, 6,000 people uh, showed up to hear this speech. Um, I, I think there's never been a better time to be a unilingual francophone in Quebec uh, because everything he said uh, was uh, in, in, in a condescending, uh, superior uh, put down of the, uh, of the world he left behind, essentially. Well, that's really the question. Does he understand the world he left behind? He hates Donald Trump. Donald Trump got elected because of Barack Obama. I wonder if right. he knows that. No, I don't think he's worked that, that out. I, it's interesting to me that his great theme is that uh, America has turned inward uh, and it's become nationalistic and isolationist and turned uh, away from the world. That's what I heard all around the planet uh, during the eight years of the Obama regime. It didn't matter whether you were in Eastern Europe, where they missed Bush, uh, in the Middle East, where they missed Bush, in India, where they missed Bush, in Singapore, where they miss Bush, in Australia where they miss Bush. Whatever you feel about George W. Bush, uh, he had relationships with world leaders. He didn't get on with Jean Chrétien in Canada. He got on fabulously with Tony Blair in uh, London and uh, John Howard in Australia. Uh, Obama got on with nobody, uh, not the uh, Gulf monarchies, uh, the Saudi king, uh, not uh, Eastern European prime ministers, not British prime ministers. Uh, during those eight years, Obama, in effect, turned away from the world, and the world largely went to hell on his watch. It's just the internal contradictions in the speech were so overwhelming. He says, look, tribalism and nationalism are dangerous, but we need a lot more immigrants and refugees. If you wanted to create nationalism, it seems to me you would do what Obama did for eight years. Yeah, I think, I think that's true. And in fact, it has led to tribalism. Uh, and that's a very good way of putting it. And in fact, the Democrat Party, what is identity politics, which was the strategy that cost Hillary Clinton the election? That's tribal right. politics. You vote, you don't vote as a citizen. One of the great things, since he's in uh, Canada, one of the great things that binds the English-speaking world is that common law does not place great emphasis on group rights. It's about the individual equal before the law. The Democrats come along and say, no, no, what matters is whether you're Muslim or what matters is whether you're transgender. Uh, they lost the election because they tribalized the electorate. I think that's exactly right. And it's a cul-de-sac with a really ugly ending. Right. Mark Stein, it is always an honor to have you on the show. Thank you for coming. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Tucker. And you didn't miss anything in Montreal, I can tell you that. <laughs> I didn't we'll think I did, but thanks. We'll have 40 Thank years you. of Obama speeches.